I was a firefighter when the place burned. Okay. So you were one of the responders? Yes. One of many. And why, why did you decide to save these things? They were laying on the street, so I picked them up. You just figured you'd pick them up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you, you never know what you find That's laying true. Around. Did you go to this movie theater often? Yeah. Yeah. Always had, uh, I just talked to a gentleman down there, his, his wife worked there. Mm -hmm. But uh, I always had a problem because I'm tall. They, they wanted me to, to pay adult fee. Uh. But the, the one girl, Helen, that we were just talking about, mm -hmm. she, she, she knew I wasn't that old. <laughs> so she didn't make you pay the adult fee? Well, I had two movie theaters at, at, the, at that time. Okay. Did they ever rebuild it afterwards? No, no. Never? Okay. The vacant lot today. Everybody, well not everybody, a lot of people thought it was going to fall down after the fire. Mm -hmm. So they hired a contractor and it took him two more months to tear it down than what he thought because it was so well built. Probably there's a lot of people don't even know there was a theater there. Mm -hmm. I do have a piece of the curtain from the stage, but I can't find it. <laughs> it's in a big brown envelope, but I can't find it. Um, so you said the movie theater was never rebuilt, but did they ever build something on that property? No. It's just it's an empty... The, the vacant lot today. The one side of the lot is an office building, mm -hmm. and on the side of it is a, a mural of people going to the theater. We did that, uh, what, four or five years ago, they did a series of murals around town. Mm -hmm. Going to the movies was what you did. Now we have kids getting in trouble, there's nothing to do. The Capitol showed the better films. The other theater showed the rougher ones, the cowboy movies, mm -hmm. gangster movies. So the one that showed the better films is the one that burned Right. Out. They were well in the process of, of, of remodeling it. I don't know what went wrong. Something went wrong. You guys uh, don't know what caused the fire? No. It was undetermined, which means, doesn't mean they don't have any ideas. It just means for the record they're not saying right. something that happens in the fire service quite a bit. People go, well, what do you mean you don't know how it started? Well, you know how it could have started, right? but you don't, you can't prove it. Right. So how do you think that it could have started? Probably something that they they were working on, mm -hmm. might have been wiring. Were uh, there a lot of people there or was it? At, at the fire? Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it attracted a lot of people. There was a lot of smoke. People saw it, came downtown. Mm -hmm. That's one of the main streets in, in town too. The, I think the owner came during the fire, but I'm not sure if he was there. Maybe he was working on something. Mm -hmm. Back then, mm -hmm. industries allowed firemen to leave work to, to fight fires. Today, they, they don't do that. Right. But uh, so we were there quick, and but you know it was already things were going to pot. But <laughs> but I've been told this is the one of the lenses from from the camera. Mm, okay. And uh, when they were tearing the building down, the, the camera was still in there. Now today they're replacing the later ones in movie theaters with the digital stuff. Now. Right. And that's a big thing, as I guess they're pretty expensive. I think the Centennial is going to bring a lot of these kind of things out, hopefully. Uh, there's a gentleman out there with his costume from the uh, Bicentennial. Mm -hmm. I have a hat in the attic somewhere. <laughs>